Welcome to today's video, where we're taking a look back in time with a collection of rare and captivating photos. Join me as we dive into the past and uncover the stories behind these incredible photos. In our first photo, we have Faye Dunaway, celebrated for her roles in films such as Bonnie and Clyde and Network. Her image represents the new wave of leading women in the golden age of Hollywood, not just as glamour icons but also as complex, leading characters. Oscar winner, 1977. Next is Michelle Pfeiffer in 1979, just before her breakthrough in film. The enigmatic Nastasia Kinski is next. The German actress, known for her roles in films like Tess and Paris, Texas, is renowned for her striking beauty and intense performances. Her photograph signifies the international appeal of cinema and its power to catapult actors to worldwide recognition. Then we see Penelope Cruz and Selma Hudick in the 90s. These accomplished actresses, known for their talent and charisma, represent the increasing diversity in Hollywood. In this photo, we visit an East German woman in her apartment block, applying makeup in front of a picture of Eric Honecker, the General Secretary of the Socialist Unity Party, who led the German Democratic Republic from 1971 to 1989 sentenced to 10 years in prison in 1935 for resisting National Socialism. After his release from National Socialism in 1946, he co-founded the youth organization Fried Deutsche Jugend. We turn our gaze to Rachel Welch in 1970, known as one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood. Returning to the somber themes of war, the next photo takes us to Normandy, France, on 26 June 1944. During Operation Epsom, an ammunition lorry from the British Army's 11th Armored Division is shown exploding after being hit by mortar fire. This division played a crucial role in the Normandy campaign, though it was fraught with danger and high casualties, starkly portrayed in this vivid and chilling snapshot. A Douglas SBD Dauntless dive bomber balanced on its nose after crash landing on an aircraft carrier flight deck, 1943. We remember Franz Reichelt, a French tailor and inventor. An early pioneer of parachuting, Reichelt unfortunately met his end testing his invention, a wearable parachute, from the Eiffel Tower. In February 1912, he traveled to Paris to test his model. Reichelt received a statement of consent from the police prefecture only on the condition that he did not conduct his experiment himself, but with a dummy. However, he decided to personally test his idea and ignored the police demand. Barricade constructed by revolutionaries of the Paris Commune, 1871. In July 1986, our attention is drawn to the depths of the ocean. DSV Alvin, a deep-sea submersible, carries Dr. Robert Ballard and two pilots to the wreck of the RMS Titanic. Dr. Ballard's discovery of the Titanic wreckage in 1985 marked a significant milestone in deep-sea exploration, and this photo encapsulates that adventurous spirit. The device is designed for three people, two scientists and a pilot, and allows you to dive to a depth of 4,500 meters in 10 hours. Consolidated B-24 Liberator Assembly Line at Fort Worth, Texas, 1943. Our next photo introduces us to two remarkable women, Dot Robinson, the founder of the Motor Maids of America, and her 15-year-old daughter Betty. They are pictured at a motorcycle rally in Laconia, a testament to their passion for motorcycling. Dot was a pioneer in the field challenging gender norms and inspiring generations of women to embrace the freedom of the open road. By founding Motor Maids, Dot set out to unite female riders to show that you can ride a motorcycle and still be a lady. Farewell at Pennsylvania Station, 1943 photo by Alfred Eisenstate. Moving forward to 1950, we switch to a more light-hearted scene in France, here, a Frenchman is captured trying Coca-Cola for the first time. The soft drink had been introduced to the French market after the end of World War II. Originally marketed as an alcohol replacement drink and intended as a patent medicine, it was invented in the late 19th century. Coca-Cola's current formula remains a trade secret, 
The drink inspired imitators and created a whole classification of soft drinks. Cola. Seems like this guide doesn't like the taste. Grizzled and weary U.S. Marines smoking a cigarette during the final days of fighting to gain control of the island of Saipan from occupying Japanese forces during 1944. We transitioned to a different kind of struggle in 1966. Bobby Gibb was told she was disqualified from participating in the Boston Marathon because she was female. Despite this, Gibb ran the race anyway, sparking a new era in women's distance running. This act of defiance challenged the prevailing stereotypes and paved the way for future female athletes. Gibb ran long distances from an early age. Her running routine included daily eight-mile runs to school. She ran in the white leather shoes of a Red Cross nurse, as there were no women's running shoes at the time. Rocky Marciano meets Dominican dictator Rafael Trujillo, 1950s. Martin Luther King, a defining figure in the civil rights movement, is seen in our next photo holding a picture of three missing civil rights workers, Michael Schwerner, James Cheney, and Andrew Goodman, during a press conference. This event, known as the Mississippi Burning Case, became a pivotal moment in the movement, spotlighting the violent resistance to racial equality in the American South. Martin Luther King received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964 for his commitment to social justice. On April 4, 1968, King was assassinated in Memphis. Trump at the New York Military Academy in 1964. On this photo, we journey to Dumas, Arkansas in 1910. Here, locals are out for a drive in a Ford Model T Tourabout, one of the first affordable automobiles for the American public. This photo encapsulates the burgeoning age of automobile travel which fundamentally changed the face of American society and economy. Between 1908 and 1927, 15 million units were built in the United States, making it the best-selling car in the world until 1972, when the title passed to the VW Beetle. In the 2020s, about 1% of all produced copies still exist. The ruins of the Roman Temple of Mercury at Puy de Dome and a nearby observatory, 1900, We then see Princess Elizabeth, the future Queen Elizabeth II, in April 1945. As a second subaltern in the Auxiliary Territorial Service, she's standing in front of an ambulance. Elizabeth died on September 8, 2022 at her residence, Balmoral Castle, Scotland. At the time of her death, she was the longest reigning and oldest monarch in British history, as well as the longest reigning and oldest head of state in the world. Registration of Jewish citizens in Amsterdam during the Razia, Raid or Roundup, of June 20, 1943, who were then deported to the Westerbork camp. An iconic moment in sports history is captured in our next photo, as the Springbok captain receives the William Webb Ellis Cup from South African President Nelson Mandela after South Africa's victory over New Zealand in the Rugby World Cup final. This event marked a turning point in South Africa's post-apartheid era symbolizing unity and reconciliation in a nation grappling with its past. Mandela is one of the most famous human rights activists during the apartheid period, for which he spent 27 years in prison. The 1980s, children playing Pac-Man's slot machine. In the next part of our visual journey, we find ourselves in 1849, looking at the first photograph ever taken of an American president, James Polk. The then nascent art of photography was a luxury only a few could afford. The regiment is known for expanding the territory of the United States as a result of the Mexican-American War. Although he is relatively little known today, Polk has been praised by scholars for his ability to advance and achieve major items on his presidential agenda in his single term. The French destroyer Borosk, sinking after being hit by German bombers during Operation Dynamo. Next, we are transported to the Rothschilds' Surrealist Ball in 1972, a lavish party thrown by the wealthy Rothschild family. Known for its extravagance and the eccentric costumes of its guests, this ball encapsulates the decadence and creativity of high society in the early 1970s, 
Between 1815 and 1914, the Rothschild family owned the world's largest bank. In the 19th century, the activities of the family bank were focused on international bond transactions. The Rothschilds were also among the main financiers of the new railroad companies.